Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is just going to be a quick team outlook for the Columbus Blue Jackets to post Patrick Line trade. They, of course, got Patrick Line and Jack Roslovic for a third round pick and Pierre Luc Dubois. I think this was a really, 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 really good trade uh, for the Blue Jackets because they were able to add a guy like Line, who's a goal scorer and a guy that's able to just pot the puck in the net while adding a guy like Roslovich, who is a guy that's supposed to have very good potential himself, but um, just wasn't able to really figure it out uh, where he was at um, in Winnipeg. He just wasn't able to find it there and wasn't able to have as much success as he would have hoped being a former first-round pick. Um, Line, as Kakalainen said, they got the second overall pick from that draft, so it wasn't too hard to trade the... Uh, third, he just went right after it there, which is a good uh, thing, I guess, for him. And he's a great GM, probably one of the best, not probably, is one of the best in the game by far, hands down. And he won this trade, I think, because you basically traded a third-round pick for Roslovich, who has gotten minutely better the last couple years, producing 20-something points after really not doing much when he first came into the league. But he seems like a player that also, one, he did want to get out of Winnipeg, so it's rare, like Frank Cervalli said, to have three guys in the same trade that wanted to relocate. But this seems like a perfect scenario for him. He's back home. He's back at his hometown where he grew up. He's going to be very comfortable. And that also seems like the perfect scenario for bringing Line in, who some people have concerns how Line will be as a torch player. I have none, because he has Jack Roslovic there, who's from Ohio, already shouting out. Patrick Line said in his interview today with Columbus's broadcast crew, that he already got told by Rochevich it's the greatest place to be, basically. And Rochevich is going to keep talking up Ohio. I mean, he's from there. He's from Columbus. He's going to talk it up to him. He's going to make Line feel home, comfortable, feel relaxed, and all that good stuff. Now, Line was put on IR. Um, the one thing I read said from a somewhat mysterious injury, that the one article I read that um, <clears throat> Pro Hockey Rumors uh, wrote by uh, Gavin Lee, that said it did seem like a mysterious injury that... Um, they put him on the IR for where I wouldn't be surprised if after the quarantine period, Line A's in the lineup pretty soon after uh, for Columbus. It seemed like that might have been something they were able to put him on IR for for a little bugaboo thing just to make sure it didn't become anything for a trade. That's just the way uh, I see it. But I think this trade is going to really help the Columbus Blue Jackets. They really needed a goal scorer, and that is what Patrick Line A is. And he's a guy that has improved his play on both ends. You can watch John from Off the Wall Hockey's great uh, trade video on the Line A Dubois trade as well, where he explains this. Line A's game has improved in past years. Uh, he might not have scored 40 cents, but he's looked better in the little game. He hasn't been out of position as much on the other end. He hasn't been just kind of standing around like he was early in his career without the puck. He actually moves without the puck now, gets into the flow of the play, gets into the flow of the game always, and that's a big thing to see and a huge thing to have if you're on a John Tortorella team. But I think this trade's really going to be able to help the Columbus Blue Jackets excuse me, and propel them to have an even better season than what they were potentially predicted for already because what happens is when you bring in a guy that actually wants to be there two guys, not just one, that's really going to bring in and spark the morale. We saw the Blue Jackets, it seemed like today, when they got the uh, aura of the whole Line A thing lifted over them, they were able to come in and beat the Lightning 5-2. to two. They looked a lot looser out there, and Ms. Lincoln's played a good game, and they looked a lot more relaxed and not split focus because it's hard to not realize what's going on and not have that in your head and clouding you a little bit when you have a player that just especially a guy supposed to be one of your young leaders that just doesn't want to be there so I think this is really going to help both teams uh Dubois should obviously be comfortable in Winnipeg his dad coaches the minor league team uh well assistant coaches the minor league team and I think Line and Roslovich is obviously going to be comfortable here but Line due to the incoming of Roslovich as well Plus the fact that I think he just wanted to change the scenery and a team that could really get him the puck to score. Uh, Columbus is going to be able to do that. This team has more playmakers on their team than they have goal scorers. So they're definitely going to be able to get Patrick Line the puck. Uh, Cam Atkinson is obviously a very efficient passer. Um, Max Domi is obviously a guy that can score or assist. It. So far he has the pair of assists. Um, Texier is an everything player. That guy's developing to something really good for them. And Bjorkstrand is definitely one of the very good shooters, has a very good shot. 
Uh, Boone Jenner is obviously more of that all-around guy again. So they got guys that are very good on the defensive end, all-around hockey, guys that are good at setting people up for Patrick Laine. But they have what they really needed all along, which is just that straight, dead-eye goal scorer. And they have the center depth, in my opinion now, even better because the third-line center and fourth-line center was uh, Kevin Stun Stenland, who I think just played his first game. He played in today's game, which I believe was his first of the season. And then... Riley Nash, who's a solid uh, um, player, but more of a swing between your third and fourth line, in my opinion, and not necessarily a consistent third line center. With how Texier has been playing and how he's played uh, on the move to center, they were talking about that on telecast today, they think he'll be able to take that in stride. You have three really deep centers if you're going to keep Texier at center. You're going to have Domi. You're going to have uh, Roslovic, who I think is really going to be able to develop with Torch and in his hometown, really with the comfortability there, and actually show up more like a first-round pick and not just like a solid uh, NHL, more bottom sixer player. Um, and then you're going to have Texier, who's either still going to be in your second line or your third line. I think this just shapes out the line a lot better, and line A is obviously going to slot into the first line, I would think, for Cam Atkinson, which would then put it. Atkinson on the second line, uh, likely on the right wing still, which would then mean you might have Bjorkstrand uh, down in your third line, or you would have Boone Jenner if you switch his wing spot down in your third line, and that really, really, really provides more depth for your lineup. So I think this trade is really going to help the Columbus Blue Jackets um, immensely, and it's going to be a trade that they are definitely uh, excited about. And uh, looking forward to for years to come. Now they just obviously need to lock up Patrick Line for the foreseeable future and not let him go anywhere uh, after his contract expires, which is, if I'm not mistaken, at the end of next season, I believe, uh, for Patrick Line. And, or no, that's actually at the end of this season. I'm sorry, it's the same. So he actually needs to be renewed a contract, I apologize, at the end of this season. So you're going to have to re-sign him as an RFA and get the money right there. But I think bringing him in, bringing him in with Roslovic uh, is going to make that significantly easier and make that a high possibility. I think the Columbus Blue Jackets are going to be a better than where I had them ranked. I still don't consider them just because of this move, a cup contender. But I definitely consider them a team that's able to get m deeper into the playoffs and push harder now, potentially, if Roslovic really comes into his own in um, Columbus and if Patrick Laine does really mesh well in Columbus, which I personally think he will. I think he just needed a change of scenery. And the fact that Kakalainen got Roslovic with him from Ohio to come over with him to help with that change of scenery was brilliant by him. So this has been a look or not a look at, excuse me, a team outlook for the Columbus Blue Jackets. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone, and enjoy the hockey. Peace out.